County, Kentucky. Welcome to this ABC 36 News Update. Here's what's making news now. Police in Madison County are on the scene of an early morning shooting. It's happening on Forest Drive in Berea. The coroner tells us that one person is dead. There's no other information being released right now. We have a crew on that scene and we'll have the latest as it becomes available. An overnight break-in in Lexington takes an unusual turn when police find the thief stuck on the roof. It happened at J&D Market on Old Richmond Road. Police say they got a call from the alarm company saying that someone was trying to break in. When they got there, they noticed an opening in the roof and an open window. They went inside, but they didn't find anyone. About an hour later, they were called back, and that's when police say they found the thief stuck in between the roof and the ceiling. He was eventually brought down and arrested. He's been identified as William Chastine. He's now charged with first-degree burglary. Police are searching for a suspect after an overnight robbery at an East Lexington restaurant. It happened just after 3 at the Waffle House on Athens Boonesboro Road. That's near I-75. Police say a woman walked in, told the person behind the register that she had a gun, and demanded cash. Now, a few customers were inside at the time, but police say they didn't even know what was going on. Workers say that woman took off in a white Oldsmobile that was parked outside. Police searched the area, but so far, no arrests have been made. Visitation is today for a Nicholas County student who died from viral meningitis. Eighth grader Jerry Patton died Friday at the UK Chandler Hospital. He played on the middle school football team. Visitation is tonight at 6 at the Clark Funeral Home in Carlisle. The funeral will be tomorrow at 2 in the Nicholas County Elementary School gym. School officials say they've since cleaned and disinfected services that the student came in contact with, and they've been cleared by the CDC. Nicholas County Superintendent Greg Reed says the family remains in the school district's prayers. Sentencing is today for a former McGoffin County official convicted on child porn charges. Walter Harden, the former McGoffin County deputy judge executive, pleaded guilty in March to using a computer to entice a minor to engage in sex. Now, this happened between April and October of 2008. Harden faces at least 10 years in prison. The Franklin County School Board will vote tonight on a proposed property tax increase. Now, if passed, it would be a two-cent increase. This comes one year after public opposition stopped a planned five-cent hike. Officials say more than half the money will go to classroom instruction. The rest will help fund transportation and tax collection efforts. That's all the time we had this morning for this update. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day.